Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause the music. Before we start, let me just say a quick thank you to everyone that showed up to his stream. Uh, wow, that was uh, really fantastic. Uh, I can't believe how well that turned out, but I'm, I'm really so glad you guys showed up. It was uh, it was really a, uh, <laughs> it was the best stream I've had since uh, Ubisoft rated me. It, it was it was fantastic. Thank you so much. Also, before we even start roasting the Wulin, we can't deny that with the Wulin came the best for honor and honestly game trailer i have ever witnessed just look at this shit It's that good. It just makes me want to cry watching it because I know I'll never get something like this ever again from For Honor. And it's just, it's just sad. It really is. Plus, the music is so beautiful. The whole... I couldn't even believe this song wasn't made for this trailer. This was made a year before this trailer even came out. But it, it captures the Wulin so perfect. Like, everything about this song just has it you know the warden is looking around and her entire world is falling down to let it all come crashing down it felt so perfect anyways enough oogling about this trailer but there's a good reason why it's so popular one more thing before we even start roasting the woolen mains let's just talk about your faction in general you guys as woolen mains curse ubisoft out every day for one reason. When you are grinding for your rep 70 Wulin, they never ever added a faction based uh, order. They never added a faction based order. It's been years since the Wulin came out, since 2018, since these characters have come out and they still don't have faction orders. Womp fucking womp. <laughs> God, can you just stand still for once? Jesus Christ, if someone said don't dodge attack for five seconds, you win 10 zillion dollars. You always still dodge because you just love dodging. You love the bash changes because it just made your 50-50 even better than it already was. Also, if you pick female Tiandi, you did it on purpose. And you know why. Her voice lines cause more mental damage than anything in this game. If you are facing a female Tiandi, you're going to want to kill yourself faster than they can kill you with their meager damage because you can't stand listening to her screeching voice break the sound barrier. You guys love to complain. No, seriously. Like, no offense. I think the most complaining mains I've ever seen are JJ mains. Before the crossplay, there was this player who was notorious for complaining and rage quitting. His name was Genghis Khan. He was a one trick JG main who all he did was anytime he was starting to lose a game, he would pull his ethernet cable so the game would force disconnect him and he would avoid all penalties of rage quitting. He would sometimes reconnect to the same game he just rage quit and then he would talk shit for five minutes and then do the same thing again. Anyways, other than that, JJ means love externals. Having an unblockable and blockable combo that spans across all of China, that shit's amazing. And you use that every five seconds. And mostly it always works. Now, for the actual really good JJ players there, you love your hidden stance or whatever you call it. The stamina regen is amazing and using it to dodge stuff, it just feels mwah, absolutely fantastic. If you see JJ's using hidden stance to dodge all your stuff, just leave the game.
you are uh, you're a duels player, plain and simple. New show or Nuxia in duels actually seems kind of nutty with her nerd traps, but in Dominion she's just kind of meh. Her damage numbers being so high is like the only thing she has going for her. She's not PK levels of bad in Dominion. She has great ganking tools, but not with randoms. Now, what do I mean by that? <laughs> if you play Nusha in Dominion, you've had it up to here with your fucking teammates. You finally landed that trap on the guy with 99% revenge and 1 HP. But what does your team do? Your teammate hits him out of the trap, denying you a kill, feeding him revenge, and then he pops it and kills all of you. Every game of Dominion, you have to buy a new keyboard because the last one didn't last long enough because your teammates were just pissing you off over and over and over again. Okay, okay, okay. So this one's gonna get a little biased. So just be ready for that. I do genuinely believe the Shaolin players that can deflect and use key stance in their mix-ups are actual good players. But... I have barely seen anybody do this. So, you're a Shaolin player who loves triple light attacks because they lock your opponent in for free damage for your team. You dodge attack a lot, but not only that, you make sure you're locked onto the person so far in the back that your dodge attack with its giant hitbox hits everything in front of you. You always, and I mean always, emote spam on anyone you beat at the end of games. Even if it was a guy, one HP on his last legs, Pop, uh, and the black prior on your team popped the eventual barrier, you will still emote spam on him because you think you are always better than him. Also, yeah, you bought the Wukong skin. So did every Sheldon. You play Zanhu for uh, multiple reasons here. Uh, you saw the Havoc video showing off the bugged armor set, and you really, really wanted it. But over time, ripping him up to rep 7 and 8, you kind of fell in love with the character, so you kept playing him. The other one is you wanted to really play Orochi, but you realized Orochi is just really, really annoying to everyone. So you didn't want to be too mean, so you picked up Zanhu instead. Or, you're a team fighter who loves the external massive, the external massive unblockables. These things are massive. Or, you just love dodge attacking. So let's focus on the last two ones. Your team loves you because you know how to use, like, utilize hitboxes. You absolutely maximize every single one of your heavy finishers, making sure they at least hit one person swinging through. Having a competent Zanhu on your team is like having a gift from God. It's like the angel in the time of need. Now, if you're the other designer that loves dodge attacks, it's not necessarily that, that you're a new player. It just kind of means you understand how to utilize Zen who dodge attacks properly by switching them up left and right every now and then. And you know for a fact that the mental damage these causes is very high. Seriously, if you hit your opponent with four of these in a row, they are guaranteed to rage quit or your money back. <laughs> 